Hi, I'm Jeremy from Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning, and today I'd like to talk to you about what safely a homeowner can clean on their furnace and what they cannot clean. Obviously, first of all, with any furnace, you'll want to make sure that you do turn the switch off on the side of the furnace so that way while you're putting your hands in the inside of there you're not going to get electrocuted or maybe even cut a finger off with uh, you know the blower motor. Um, on the top side of your furnace what you'll want to do is you can actually wipe out some of the top sides of these burners um, without being able to um, get too in detail with it. If they have to be removed you should call a qualified technician to be doing that um, so that it gets put back right. If you want to wipe off your, the type of your gas valve, even the blower cabinet, some of the motors that are on the inside of there to make sure that they're free of dust and debris, um, that is a, a great idea. Also down at the bottom side of your cabinet where your blower is, you can take a vacuum, vacuum out the inside of it and then just with a wet towel, uh, clean it out. Anytime that you're using solutions on the inside of your furnace you will not want to use something that's corrosive because these are all wires and components that are on the inside of here and they can actually um, start rusting things out on the inside of your furnace and even hurt the electrical components. And once again I'm Jeremy with Airworks Heating and Air Conditioning out of Salt Lake City and we've just talked about what's safe for a homeowner to be able to clean and what's not for them to be able to clean.